increase and sick leave adjustments is the other major component. News Channel 3's Carter Landis joins us live in the studio with more on what this means for some workers. Carter? Yeah, Jessica, the ruling is expected to force nearly all Michigan employers to provide up to 72 hours of sick leave to their employees. It's for businesses with 10 or more employees and many businesses are now expected to reevaluate their own sick leave policies. In a close decision at the end of July, the Michigan Supreme Court deciding it was unconstitutional for the previous legislature to adopt and amend two proposed ballot initiatives. Those initiatives involved increasing the minimum wage for part-time workers, as well as making adjustments to Michigan's paid sick leave policies. The new paid sick leave policies require all employers to provide up to 72 hours of paid sick leave for their employees. However, this does not just cover someone dealing with an illness. It also covers mental health issues, injuries, and even appearances. Professor Michael McDaniel of Cooley Law School says this is a major win for workers. If you've got a, a, a single mother working part time as a waitress trying to make ends meet, I think this must be a huge blessing and benefit for them as well, uh, because now they've if they've got a kid sick, uh, they can take some time off of work without being threatened with the loss of their job. McDaniel also says this could cause employers to take a hard look at their own paid sick leave policies and make potential changes. Maybe you want to have less employees but more full-time employees uh, to determine what makes the most sense uh, in, terms of, in terms of value. Employers are required to provide one hour of sick leave for every 30 hours worked.